Famen, a revolutionary feminist movement that has originated in Ukraine in 2008 when a group of university students formed a women's rights group to protest against sex tourism and prostitution. The group gained fast and vast media exposure because of their topless stunts, theatrical staged protests and provocative slogans painted on the women's bodies. According to feminine leader Ina Svenchko, females are sex extremists, atheists and feminists. Their fight is against religious institutions, dictatorship and patriarchy. Feminine headquarters is in Paris. Their activities have reached as far as the Middle East. In Tunis, a young Tunisian activist has taken the movement across the Mediterranean. She was only 19 when she posted a topless picture on her Facebook page. The woman painted on herself, my body belongs to me and is not the source of anyone's honor. The photo sparked massive controversy and soon other feminine activists began their topless stunts across the Middle East. In October 2012, the organization claimed to have 40 activists in Ukraine, 30 in Paris and another 100 abroad. Their online supporters have reached tens of thousands. According to the journalist turned feminine protester, the expenses of each member is at least $1,300. So where does the financing come from? And what really happens behind the scenes of the famine movement? The TV program aired on Ukraine 1 plus 1 that investigated famine's activities came to the conclusion that the bare breasts of the feminist cover up somebody's money and political interest. They made further assumptions that founder of the Kiev Post Media, Jen Sundin, a Jewish American, together with a German businesswoman, are financially supporting the activities of the movement. The question remains, what are their political interests? And why do famine activities only happen to take place in some places, but not others?